Hey friends, welcome to Post to Post. Thanks for clicking on this video. If you're new, my name is Neil. We are into round two. That's right. If you saw my video earlier today, I talked about Florida versus Tampa. But in this video, if you can tell from the jerseys in the background, we're talking Colorado St. Louis. A matchup with history. A matchup with beef. Okay, these two teams have played each other before. They don't necessarily like each other. There's not a massive, massive rivalry here. But bad blood does exist. And this is a big series because Colorado has heavy expectations on their shoulders. But St. Louis, you know, they've won a cup recently. They've got a little bit less pressure, but there's still expectations there because they're generally the same team. Minus, like, well, the main one's Petrangelo. But here's the thing. Well, I guess here's the thing for me. I don't know if this series is as predictable as you think it is. A lot of people are saying Colorado, easy. Five, six games, no problem. I don't think so. Not with St. Louis. Like I said, St. Louis is generally the exact same team that they had when they won the cup. Obviously, there's been a few changes and a few subtractions, a few uh, additions, but generally the same team. Also, Bennington seems to have his confidence back. He's got the net. That's a dangerous thing. That's a dangerous thing for Bennington to have his confidence back. That means bad news for Colorado. It's going to be an interesting matchup on every aspect of the ice. You've got Kale McCarr working magic on the back end, leading into the in, right into the Ozone. You've got St. Louis with their incredible breakout game and their ability to turn over the puck at will, uh, almost like they've they've got such a skill to create something from nothing, where Colorado is almost constantly pushing the pace. And they're like they just have so many weapons, and St. Louis is a bit more reactive, and they can take advantage of a, a lot of situations. So different teams, but very deadly on both uh, sides of the coin. Colorado's power play is is has been amazing for a long time. Uh, they've got that almost down to a science. But St. Louis, very underrated power play. They dominated the uh, Minnesota Wild in the first round. They have an incredible special teams, not only power play but penalty kill. Best advice to Colorado, don't pick, don't take penalties. Keep this five on five or try and draw some penalties. This might be a little controversial to say, but if Colorado is not responsible, they're going to lose this series. St. Louis will win this series in special teams if Colorado uh, is, is not responsible. If Colorado remains responsible, Colorado wins this series. That's generally how I feel about the entire thing. Uh, if I could pick one thing, that's it. Special teams. Let's keep, the th keep things five on five if you're Colorado. I think you'll win this. But if this is a lot of back and forth between uh, penalty kill and power plays, I think St. Louis has this series. I think they have the resilience to get it done. Um, and I don't really care who wins. Like, that's the other thing. I think the only team remaining in the playoffs, and I said this in my previous video, I just want Tampa gone. I'm okay with any other team moving on and winning the Stanley Cup. Uh, even even St. Louis, they won recently, but there's still a team I like. I like Colorado. I'm going to be rooting for Colorado in this series. I'm going to be predicting Colorado in this series. I would not be disappointed if, if St. Louis won and move on, moved on. Um, so honestly, I'm just excited for the hockey, kind of like the, the Tampa Bay, Florida one. Even though I want Tampa to lose, I said this in the previous video as well, I'm just excited for the hockey. Like, this is going to be great hockey. St. Louis versus Colorado. Uh, head's going to be banging. It's going to be... It's going to be physical. I'm looking forward to this one. I hope you guys are too. We'd love to hear your predictions or your thoughts down below in the comment section. Do you think it's going to be as easy as a lot of people think? Like five, six games for Colorado? Or do you see this going deep? I come, I'm picturing like Colorado in six, Colorado in seven, maybe even St. Louis in seven. I don't know, but I guess we'll find out pretty soon. Enjoy your night of hockey. Hope you guys are having a great time watching the playoffs in general, not just tonight, but, but in general. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the content, please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button if you're new. I'll talk to you tomorrow for more series previews. Adios.